In our new episode of Blue Bite Backstage, we take a deeper look behind the scenes of the development of The Settlers Online. The developers are working hard on new content and also listen to the feedback of the community. The team is really proud to present the all-new PvP feature for The Settlers Online. But what exactly can we expect here? Hello everyone, I'm BB Drak from Bluebyte here. Um, I'm the, one of the game designers involved in making the new PvP feature and the new combat system. The basic idea behind it is that we are allowing you now to use your explorer to find an expedition which you can actually conquer and make your own. This will give you a small resource production over time, but you have to defend it. You have to build up your defenses on those, that, those islands and other people can actually steal it away. Make sure that doesn't happen. Uh, the first idea we had was to give uh, the players an, an alternative to the, what they were doing currently, the, the old combat system and the adventures. Uh, we wanted to give them a valid option in terms of what they can do for gaining resources, gaining XP, leveling up, uh, while actually trying to make it in a more active way. We also took a deeper look into the graphics of the game. What are the main changes coming with the new PvP feature in terms of graphics? Senior Art Director Armin has the answer. We did a lot of stuff, uh, uh, for sure, like, for example, the, the camps that we built, uh, that the player can build on, 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 uh, on the scene. And, uh, of course, we did the new battle uh, system that, uh, yeah, is pretty, uh, pretty easy to, to read, uh, especially when it comes to several battles on the screen. So it's always a good understanding uh, what's what's happening there. And, uh, of course, we built in a lot of settler-style humor, like our flying cows out of the cloud. So you're very welcome to, to have a look at the game and see what, what's happening there, all the new stuff. and. Have fun. Let's have a look on how the designers created the PvP mode. Let's see the PvP mode in action. How PvP battles are finally fought. We actually had a lot of players telling us that they want to have uh, more action in the game. So for that we developed a new combat system which is real time. You can actually interact with your combats in real time and make a difference. And with that comes a new set of islands that uh, sort of you can conquer. These islands are uh, generated in real time, so no two, diff two combats will be the same. We initially started with a very rough prototype, mo mostly prototyping just numbers and values to see how the pacing of everything works. We learned quite a bit of that. This was just an internal prototype for us. Uh, it was quite valuable. We learned that we need a lot of feedback to show players what clearly is going on in the game, what's good against what, who's winning, things like this. Our second prototype was uh, using most of the things we have in the game. As it's uh, real-time UI and uh, visualization, everything had to be changed, so we can really reuse anything from the older one. We went through several iterations of, uh, on this. Again, it was initially meant to be uh, showing one unit fighting another unit, but on multiple lines, and it was very say, tedious to actually maintain for, for the players. We found this out, and we sort of changed that to a stacking version. You can see now in-game, which is basically showing multiple people uh, units fighting at the same time one another. Uh, we really didn't want to go away from the idea of having armies fighting, what people were used to, seeing like 200, 300 people fighting at the same time. So we really just had to mm, see the best balance between those two ideas. Also while playing with this feature we sort of kind of, we sort of reused parts of the older game, so we definitely saw some improvements that needed to be done there as well. For instance, one of the examples was the UI that is used for sending generals to an adventure. It was a very tedious process initially, so having to like, go back to it every time you send one general. So we made it that at the moment you can send up multiple ones, plus another, a lot of actually miscellaneous information that we added on top of that. We also have a, a very nice feature we like, which is the battle cloud, which is happening in the middle of everything, which has a very nice and we think very f funny, stylized uh, graphic style. And there are things that are flying out of there, like helmets and swords, like people would lose them. Um, there are also some surprises installed for you there. Looking forward to seeing you on the forums. With the new PvP and the new combat system, we introduced new units, and new generals to use them. So it sort of this enabled us to take a look at that UI of the general. We had a lot of feedback from every forum we could possibly search for, and um, we sort of saw that the old UI had a lot of problems. First of all, it was limited to the nine fixed 
units and as we want to add more and more units for the new system this couldn't work so we added a very something that's very uh, easy to use and streamlined for adding and removing units very quickly we also knew about the scroll bar that people really, really like and was very clunky to use so we introduced uh, an input text that makes it very very fast now to actually set up your, your general composition and it will be a lot easier for us to add things on top of that uh, later on the colony UI is a place where you can manage your colonies and see what they actually give you. This has went through multiple iterations. Initially there were just a few slots, just, a, just numbers everywhere. People didn't understand it. We had a few internal playtests with that. People were not getting what they were supposed to do there. So we actually changed it quite a bit. At the moment it's quite easy, it flows, it's quite good. And uh, really looking for feedback from you guys again to see how we can improve it further. We had a lot of help from the community, which we are very, very glad to, to have. Uh, we had, a, as probably some of you might know, we, have a, we had a closed beta test for this. Uh, people there were very, very constructive and very helpful. Uh, we go, went through a lot of iterations with them. We changed a lot in terms of how we can set up a combat, making it more streamlined, trying to give us more op opportunities to actually scale it for later on, adding new features and new uh, elements. Uh, and at the moment it's live on pre-staging and we're waiting for a bigger pool of feedback to come. The big team behind the Settlers Online has spent a lot of time creating this new content and they are constantly working on new stuff for the future. The new PvP feature will be released pretty soon in the final The Settlers Online game. Stay tuned.